all right guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be reacting to hood horror stories about um this compton crip survived uh crip on crip violence uh throughout the 80s and 90s just to be shot by a 12 year old crip damn that's diabolical <laughs> All right, you see that Compton Crip? He joined the South Side Compton Crip. That hood is known for taking out Tupac. Shout out, uh, but the shooters are dead. But the one, the one of the shooters that was in the car, uh, Keefy D, he's still alive. He's still breathing. The Compton Crips, a notorious gang dating back to at least the early 1970s. Despite the geographical location being on Compton's... Oh, dang. This gang was around since 1970s. That's crazy. Side, they claim Southside due to their turf being in the southern area of Compton. The Southside Compton Crips are divided by generations. The first... Ge dang. They got the same hats as the 60s. The S hat. That S hat. They got that 60 hat for Southside. Uh, they got that 60... All right, guys. Let me get back to the video. Generation members are original gangsters. They are followed by the original baby gangsters. The third generation of members refer to themselves as baby gangsters. This includes Orlando Baby Lane Anderson. The fourth generation are the original tiny gangsters, followed by the tiny gangsters. The most recent two generations are the original tiny soldiers and the tiny soldiers. Evil Kurt was a part of the original baby gangsters, known as OBG. He was alleged to have put in major work in the 80s, building his name in the streets for his TV sacks on his enemies, tapping into his dark energy actively patrolling through enemy hoods looking for enemies to rob or shoot. He was in his prime in the late 80s and early 90s when the violence in Compton was at its highest level. Like the Crips, but it's just the lives that got the trouble. I understand. The lives, the pyrus. What's the pyrus? <laughs> Look, now, she dissing, she dissing bloods by saying slobs. She dissing pyro by saying slobs. Stay in a woman's place. You shouldn't do that shit. Weapon, the choice was a 45. Wow, she said the ones that we killing, bitch, you ain't showing shit. The dudes in the, cr the dudes in the crews doing that shit. All right, when it was time to bust a mission and execute a drive by shooting, but he also would get busy with an AK. His clique was full of killers, and you couldn't be a part of that clique unless you had a body on you. Ooh. Allegedly, they would dump rival bodies in the Compton Creek. Kurt would bust solo missions, whatever it took to get the job done. As far as making money, aside from pushing drugs in the 80s, Kurt would enjoy robbing drug dealers for their keys as well and doubling up his profit. Evil Kurt would invent a game call that would only be used among members within his clique, it would sound like. <coughs> Although Evil Kurt was violent in nature when it came to the opposition, he was totally against infighting within his own gang and publicly spoke out about it on several occasions during the mid-90s. There was an internal war happening within the Southside Compton Crips between the Glencoe and Burris clique. These cliques were cool up until Lee Banner and Terrence from Burris stole 10K from Ronnie Fick's brother and Charles Snake Johnson, who were from the Glencoe clique. Snake and another guy from Glencoe named Dave DeLong came and sprayed up Keepy D's house. Lee Banner and his brother Lebo were killed, and Lil' Al was also wounded in that shooting. When Lil' Al recovered, him and Baby Lane met up with Dave DeLong on Glencoe and Temple, then killed him. Shortly after, a member from the Glencoe clique shot Terrence 20 times and grazed Baby Lane in the head. After Terrence miraculously survived, he turned around and shot Snake. To make matters worse, Evil Kurt's brother-in-law, OG Ron, was killed in a drive-by shooting on September 1st of 1996. At this point, it was major dysfunction within Southside, and it was just a bad time in general to get on their bad side. A few days later on September 7th, Tupac, Shug, and members of the mob stomped down Baby Lane in Vegas. At the time of this beatdown, Shug was already on parole, stemming from a 1992 attack on two young would-be rappers that he had caught using the phone without his permission in the studio. Baby Lane was called to appear as a witness at Shug's parole hearing when interviewed by Las Vegas police. Orlando had plainly told him that Shug assaulted him, but on the witness stand, he reversed his testimony. Shug allegedly paid Baby Lane $60,000 to tell the court he was not involved in hopes of avoiding a conviction for violating his parole. With some of that money, in 1997, Baby Lane launched his record level success records. The most skilled rapper he had on his roster was Evil Kurt without question. After Baby Lane was killed in the dramatic Compton Gang shootout, Evil Kurt was allegedly riding hard for him, and Pocket Hood was allegedly getting lit up. Shortly after Baby Lane's death, 
Evil Kurt would drop the song Baby Against the Waves. This track is a dark, menacing banger where Kurt raps about the murder of Baby Lane and how he's feeling for revenge. He also threw a slick diss at Tupac in his lyrics, drinking Hennessy out the bottle, fuck LSA. Tupac was known for rapping about LSA immediately. Not him dissing Tupac, bruh. And how many views he got on that video for dissing Tupac? Not that much. The songs. Fast forward to June 23rd, 2000. Kurt had left the Jack in the Box and was at the red light on Rosecrans in Santa Fe. A young black kid then emerged with a gun and fired a single shot. The bullet struck Kurt right in the face and he died on the you see, You see? That's karma. One single shot to the head. He gone. The 12 year old shooter was from the same. A, a 12 year old bruh come on now you don't even know this kid but he know you like damn that's crazy curtis's death would escalate the beef between Southside and santana block and since then it was full-on war between the two a member from santana block even dropped a check mocking kirk's murder and admitted his head had involvement evil kurt has a son who goes by teasy who all wow look damn that's crazy so raps Evil Kurt left an imprint in Compton for his tenacity, and he was very talented on the mic. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.